In today's video, we will be taking a look at Spark Lightning Wallet integration into BTC Pay server. Spark allows you to connect to your C Lightning node through web, mobile, or desktop app. At the time of recording this video, you need to have a Lightning node in order to use Spark. One of the easiest ways to deploy a Lightning node currently is BTC Pay server, and if you do not know how to do that, I will put the link to a one click uh, deployment for BTC Pay server, which will allow you to deploy your Lightning node, BTC Pay server, and full Bitcoin node in just a click. In order to proceed with uh, instructions in this video, you will need to have installed and synced BTC Pay server. In order to use Spark in BTC Pay, you can use it either as an internal or external wallet. Internal wallet allows you to access your wallet without ever having to leave your browser or BTC Pay server. It works right out of the box and no pre-configuration is needed. To start using Spark wallet inside BTC Pay, go to server settings and then services. If you do not see Spark server here, that probably means that uh, you have a LND implementation or that you haven't deployed a Lightning node inside BTC server yet. In that case, I will put the link to the documentation so where you can read more about it. To start using Spark inside BTC Pay, click See Information. Here you can see options to connect directly via the browser or to connect via the QR code. Let's first connect via the browser. To do that, you simply need to click the link here. As you can see, Spark Wallet will open right away and uh, it will open inside your BTC Pay. I will show you how to manage Spark in a moment but on a mobile, but for now you should note that uh, the interface is absolutely the same on mobile and both desktop. So you have the request here and you can change settings at the bottom, like switching different teams and so on. To clarify this once again, you have an internal Lightning node deployed with your, inside your BTC Pay server and Spark simply connects to it and integrates with it smoothly. So Spark is just a graphical interface of your BTC Pay internal node. Allow me to show you how you can connect to Spark on your mobile device. To connect on your mobile device, you simply need to show this confidential QR code. When you click on it, you will be displayed with a QR code but be aware, as the notice says here, that whoever has the access to this QR code can connect to your node and potentially steal all the funds from it. So keep this code safe. Spark application is already on Google Play and you just need to search for it, type in Spark Wallet and click install. Open the app and you will be welcomed with uh, the server settings here right away. Here you need to add your server URL and access key. To connect uh, Spark with BTC Pay, click scan QR code. You will need to allow access and once you do that, you just need to go to your BTC Pay server uh, QR code in the services and simply scan it. From there, you just need to click save settings. And the same as with web app, you see the interface is pretty much the same. Uh, as you can see right now, I, I've been using my node for a while, so that's why I have the transactions noted here and also the balance. Let's now take a look quickly at Spark interface on mobile. So first thing you can do is uh, you can tap the amount here on the top and it will change you from millisatoshis, BTC or even USD. You can choose whichever you prefer. The second important function is pay. When you click on pay, you can of course scan the invoice or just click paste request here at the bottom. When you click paste request, you will manually need to paste that request. Let's now return back. Same as pay, request is when you want to request the money from someone and send them the invoice. You can display the invoice on your screen or just send them the invoice uh, request and they can manually copy it and pay from their wallet. Click request and this is your invoice. As you can see, whoever wants to pay you can scan it right away or you can just copy this code below and send it to them so that they can pay you. Let's return back. As you can see, the box below shows the history of your transactions. When you click on any of those transactions, you will see the important information such as the amount sent, the fees, the destination and so on. Even though it may seem that this is all Spark offers, there is actually a very neat <laughs> hidden feature in Spark a little bit. At the bottom you can see a version and you can see here the node link. So you need to click on that link in order to see your node address. 
and uh, from here you can manage the channels. Uh, this is probably purposefully hidden because at some point users would not have to worry about channels and whoever wants to see channels uh, needs to access them currently this way. Once again you need to click on the node at the bottom and it will open your node address and you will see here server settings which will lead you to server settings on how you can connect again to a different node in Spark. You can just go to channels and you'll see all of the channels that you have, either if they're active, offline, or if they're opening. As you can see, it's uh, very neatly displayed. And uh, one thing that you would probably use if you were, your node is new and you want to open a channel, you need to go to channels and then on the bottom of the page, you'll see open channel button and you need to click on it. And from here, you can open channels. Uh, one thing that is currently missing here is probably the ability to scan the QR code and open channel directly, but I think that's something that the developer of Spark will definitely implement in future. I would just like to show you how you can make payment with Spark. I will go to demo BTC Pay store and I'll buy this very cool personal bot called Shirty. I wonder who that is. So let's go to cart and proceed to BTC Pay. So of course, if you're a first time user, you will need to learn a little bit about opening your first channels and so on. Unfortunately, I will not cover that in this video. I just want to show you how you can make payments through Spark. So here is the BTC Pay invoice on mobile device. You just need to switch to Lightning. And as you can see, you can copy the invoice manually. But what we are going to do is open it in a wallet right away. So just click the button open in a wallet. Here I also have a Claire. I'll choose Spark and just click Pay. And as you can see, my invoice after a few seconds has been confirmed and paid instantly. Let's go back to BTC Pay and you'll see that invoice has been paid. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about Spark and BTC Pay integrations, feel free to join us on BTC Pay Slack. If you face any issues or have suggestions on how to improve Spark, I'm sure that your feedback will be greatly appreciated on their GitHub. I'll put a link to all of these important resources in the description of this video. That's it for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.